Apple has just unveiled iOS 12, the latest version of the operating system that powers millions of iPhones and iPads across the world, and it brings some big changes all across the board. Hello guys, my name is Vic Kristoff with Phone Arena, and iOS 12 is not just about new features. It is first and foremost about improved performance on millions of older iPhones. In fact, all iPhones that currently run on iOS 11 will get iOS 12 when it's publicly released this fall, and that includes even the 5-year-old iPhone 5S. Great news! Apple's big promise with iOS 12 is faster performance on such old devices. The company says you will get up to 40% faster uploading times, the keyboard will appear up to 50% faster, and swiping on the lock screen to open the camera will be up to 70% faster. But the improved performance is not the only new thing in iOS 12. Probably the biggest change in the new platform is that Apple is finally, finally bringing support for group notifications. This has been the biggest complaint of many users for such a long time. Android has been grouping notifications for years, for ages, and now finally Apple switches to this more organized way of showing notifications. Group notifications work just as you'd expect. iOS automatically bundles notifications in a stack of cards. Tap it once and it will expand. You can then easily discard the whole group and you can also fine-tune which apps are even allowed to send notifications to your lock screen. Another cool new feature comes in settings, and it's called Screen Time. Here you can get a detailed report about how much you use your phone. You can easily see how much time you spend in each app, how many times you have unlocked your phone during the day, and this kind of data can help you manage that addictive iPhone habit. To do this, you can set app limits so you get a reminder when you spend too much time on, say, Instagram. And if you're a parent, you can set app limits for your kids, so that they get some spare time from gaming for their homework. There's also a subtle change to the Do Not Disturb mode. You get easy shortcuts, so you can enable DND mode for just an hour, or a particular place, and you can also set up a new mode that stops notifications from bothering you at night. Apple also brings all new versions of some of its most popular apps. You get a new news app with curated stories from trusted sources. A new stocks app that now comes with news for each company and not just stock quotes. A new voice memos app with iCloud support so your voice recordings are synced across Mac and iOS. And a new Apple Books app coming in place of iBooks that brings a new look. Apple also introduces four new fun animoji for the iPhone X. A friendly ghost, a cute tiger, a koala, and T-Rex. This brings a total number of animoji to 20. Plenty of choice for these animated avatars. And now all of these animoji come with tongue recognition for even more expressive messages. Another cool feature coming with iOS 12 is Memoji or Memoji, where you create a custom character that could look like you. The process is more like building a character in The Sims game rather than being truly realistic. And I could never get it to look exactly like me, but it's a fun little gimmick and it is animated very, very well. Take note of Samsung. With iOS 12, you also get a major update to the augmented reality experience with the new ARKit 2.0. There's also a new app that Apple made with AR in mind. The app is Measure, and it allows you to very accurately measure real-life objects. And for simple objects like rectangles, the app will automatically detect them and show you measurements. With iOS 12, you also get support for third-party apps in Apple CarPlay, so you can finally use your favorite app for navigation. Siri has also become more knowledgeable and now knows motorsports, and it also knows more about celebrities. Apple also hugely expands what Siri can do by adding support for Siri shortcuts, a cool feature that will allow you to set your own custom commands for third-party apps. There are a lot of other new features coming with this big release, but they simply won't fit in this video. So click on that link in the description right below to learn all about them. And keep in mind that we, what we show you here is just the first beta, and the final version for the general public will arrive this fall. 
Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Subscribe to our channel to see more videos and I will see you in the next one.